morning amazing person as you can see the groceries just arrived and as soon as the guy brings them upstairs i'm going to show you what i got Ooh. I'm gonna try and be as efficient as possible today. I have my first meeting at 9 and my second one 9.30. It's now 8. I have one coffee. My glasses are really dirty. No, they're not. It's just foggy. Um, so I have half an hour to prepare for my first meeting. The other meeting is not so much as presenting something, it's just listening and um, checking on everything that still needs to be done. And after that, I'm going to try and do as much as possible. Today is going to be a busy day. And thank God I already got my groceries, but while I was going through my groceries, I was... Uh, thinking about other stuff that I did not put on my list. So Thursday after work, I'm going to the supermarket again. So that will be three times this week. Um, the thing is that I usually go physically to the supermarket on Sunday, but I won't be here on Sunday. I'm going camping, so I really need to buy everything before Sunday so that I won't be out of essentials when I start work on Monday and it's really not a lot that I need to get but I just want to be sure I hate it when I'm out of things also I'm waiting for a package to be delivered but for some reason it's not being delivered. It's been a week. So I'm gonna have to check on that today. And other than that, just work, work, work. I also need to go to the basement to check on all of the things that I need to bring with me camping. This week is filled to the brim but lucky for me after this week I will have a few blissful days camping one meeting down one more to go I still have 15 minutes I want to go to the basement to get the camping stuff I can't stand doing it last minute I think I'm gonna get them now. Yeah. I really hate waiting, and if I have something in my mind, I really wanna get it over with. So I'm gonna get the camping stuff right now from the base. Then I'll be back just in time for the next meeting.
favorite. These things are super, super heavy. So this is my tent, my bed, my heater, and a chair. I actually have a play date with my nieces in the park. So that's what I'm going to do now. I started cooking after my nieces left this is what I'm cooking today um, it's pasta I baked the sausages and the vegetables onion garlic basically added the pasta after I baked everything and now I'm gonna slowly let it cook with the cream and I was thinking to make these mushrooms because I'm really craving KFC like really fried chicken wings and I'm gonna turn these um, mushrooms into chicken wings. This is the package that I got and I'm just gonna follow what they say. Put it in a bowl, put the mushrooms inside of the dough. Oh, you kind of have to double coat it. I think I can do this, it's not too difficult. I'm just gonna try it and I really hope that it tastes good so the first step was to wash the mushrooms the oyster mushrooms and separate them a little i coated six large pieces of the oyster mushrooms with a mixture and now i have to coat them again but with a mixture without water and while cooking the mushrooms the pasta is almost finished. I really want the pasta to soak in all of the moisture. Thank you. 
Oh yeah. <laughs> and it's so spicy. Look at the inside. It's like you're eating. I'm not allowed to say it, but it looks like But it's really the, the outside that counts because I remember when I was still eating meat, I would eat the outside of the chicken wings. Then I went to KFC and I would leave the rest. So I'm very satisfied with this. I'm gonna make some overnight oats because I really wanted overnight oats this morning, but I didn't think about it yesterday. So not going to make that same mistake twice. I am a beautiful lilac white knife. I'm going to cut up some pineapple, some blueberries, put the oats in here with some almond milk and are we gonna make it complicated or is that all? I think that's all. And then I'm gonna put it in the blender tomorrow morning. Cause you don't wanna do that the night before. And then it's going to be like a smoothie cause I don't like the, the scooping of the oats. I don't want it to be too thick. I really don't like that. I want to drink it so it's more of a smoothie consistency. So let's... Oh, and I almost forgot, I also always add some spinach because it's healthy, it's green, and you basically don't taste anything of the spinach once it's in your smoothie or in your overnight oats. So I'm just going to do that. basically all there is to it we're gonna put it in a fridge overnight and tomorrow we are going to put it in the processor this is actually also the bottle that I use to blend everything so it's really convenient tomorrow we're just gonna put the screw on it blend it and we can eat this around 12 o'clock that was basically all for today I am going to take a shower and do some editing and I will see you soon.